hello um long time no see welcome back to my channel if you are subscribed to me or have watched my vlogs in the past um i took kind of a leave of absence not for any particular reason i just like once i got back from vacation i just became super busy with work and my son started school again and just like i don't know just like I said, no reason really. I just couldn't fit this into my everyday life, basically. Um, but I'm hoping to change that. I fall is my favorite season, so I'm hoping to bring the camera along when we go to fall festivities or maybe make a couple of videos. Um, this is kind of getting off topic because... As you can see by the title, this is a Bath and Body Works haul. Um, but I just kind of wanted to make this intro a little longer just because, I don't know, I just felt the need to explain where I've been and um, stuff like that. And um, If I continue to make videos on this channel, it's mostly going to be lifestyle, um, hauls maybe, fashion... Like I said, Bath and Body Works, things like that. I am no makeup guru. I'm not a professional, as you can probably tell by my face right now. I'm not into the whole makeup thing. Um, I love makeup. Sorry. Um, I, I'm obsessed. I am a platinum member at Ulta. Like, I love my makeup. I love putting it on my face and trying new things, but... As far as, like, to give tutorials and stuff like that. I'm the girl that watches the tutorials. I'm not the girl that makes the tutorials, if you know what I mean. So, if you're into that kind of thing, I'm sorry. But just starting out here on YouTube, I kind of just, like I said, mostly, like, daily life, lifestyle, maybe uh, baking and cooking and fashion hauls and just kind of stuff like that. Not really much makeup involved. But anyway, so... I have three giant Bath and Body Works bags, and I am ready to get into this, so hopefully you stay with me because this is going to be a huge haul. Okay, so getting right into it, um, I'm just going to show you my all-time favorite scent first, which I'm sure is many people's favorite scent. I don't know if this is picking up, but Marshmallow Fireside. I mean, really. It is just the perfect blend of basically what it describes on here. Toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, fire roasted vanilla, and uh, crystallized amber. I definitely, it's a very woodsy, almost, not really, it's not a very strong musky smell but it's kind of musky and definitely marshmallowy vanilla I'm not gonna be probably very good at describing scents um this is obviously my first ever haul but it's my favorite that's all I gotta say like I said I'm sure it's millions of others favorites as well but um the next one I have I think no this one isn't new this year this one's flannel I love the packaging on that. Isn't it cute? Like, and guys, I'm sorry. I'm not, I don't have, like, professional lights. And this is, I'm using my vlogging camera right now. I'm just trying to, you know, get content out there. And I know that there's thousands of others Bath and Body Works hauls on YouTube. I just, I had an abundance of candles. And I thought, wow, this would be a perfect opportunity to make a video so please bear with me like I said I know this isn't very professional looking I don't have a cute background I, I'm a little self-conscious if you can't tell but I'm trying so I appreciate whoever makes it to the end of this video but this is also um one of my favorites this is like a very manly scent um flannel you think of men when you think of flannel I guess like it's masculine um crisp autumn air bergmont heirloom mahogany 
and soft musk. You can definitely smell the musk and the mahogany. It's very... I, I really like this scent as well. <laughs> um, on to the next one. Let me see here. I do believe that this is new this year. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is mahogany apple. Once again, very cute packaging on that as well. Oh, this one, um, you can smell the apple, but it's very, another woodsy, I'm very into the woodsy masculine scents, I guess. Like, some of them bother me, like the mahogany teak wood, my fiance loves, but something about it, like, I like the smell, but when it burns, it really, like, tickles my throat or my nose. I don't know if I'm allergic to it or what, but this is pretty mahogany-ish too, so hopefully it doesn't bother me, but red mahogany wood, golden delicious apple, pink peppercorn, which I don't know what that is, and fresh lavender. Um, I would definitely say it's more of a mix of mahogany and lavender, once again with the musk, but you can smell a faint scent of apple as well, so I picked that one up. Um, this one is one of my favorites from previous years. It is sweater, sweater weather, excuse me. I love, love, love the fall packaging on that one. Once again, another musky smell. But fresh sage, juniper berry, aromic eucalyptus, and fresh woods. So I would say this one is a fair description um you can definitely smell the woods sage it's got some berry scent to it it's very fresh smelling like like when you're putting on a fresh clean sweater out of your closet that's what it smells like honestly i think and fall 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 <laughs> oh and another thing all these have like the leaves on top super cute isn't that adorable? I love, just love the look of their fall candles. Um, this one I kind of think might be a last year scent as well, but I didn't pick this up last year. I believe they were out of it when I tried. But it is pumpkin cheese, wait, pumpkin spiced cheesecake. And this one's just a plain Bath and Body Works lid for whatever reason, but... Oh, it smells very true to its name, I think. Um, let's see what it says. Spiced pumpkin, graham cracker crust, and whipped cream cheese. Like, exactly what it smells like. You can, you can smell all that in here. The graham crackers, the cream cheese, and the pumpkin. Like, it's very very true to description and name definitely <laughs> i love that one i'm a very like i need to start making more vlogs of me shopping like you if anybody's a basic white girl it, my family picks on me so much i'm just pumpkin uggs bath and body works um anything that's like typical fall basic white girl, whatever, not even white girl, ba basic bitch, and I don't know, like, I, that's me, that is me, <laughs> I, uh, I love fall, what can I say, but, um, let's see, blackberry merlot, or merlot, I don't know how to say that, I probably sound stupid, but I'm pretty sure they had this one last year as well, but I, once again, didn't pick it up. I'm obsessed. Like, obsessed. This is, like, so fruity and berry. And, like, when you think of fruit, you think of, like, kind of summery. But, like, certain berries, like blackberry and cherry. I don't know. Like, certain fruit scents do remind me of fall. So this says dark cherry, black raspberry, and sumptuous merlot merlot but um it's very 
it's a very strong berry scent like i hope this doesn't give me a headache but it shouldn't most candles don't really bother me but i'm excited to burn this because i have a feeling this is going to be very strong but um i have another marshmallow fireside because if it's your favorite candle who's nobody's gonna say they're not gonna stock up on their favorite candle okay i'm probably gonna go back and get oh, another two or four of these before the season's over that's what i like about um marshmallow fireside too is that it it's a wintery scent as well like you know some of the fall like cinnamon pumpkin and different like cidery appley scents like those are mostly fall Pumpkin, I feel like you can get away with until, like, almost until Christmas, I would say. Like, pumpkin can go with, like, Thanksgiving. and Well, so can apple, too, but I don't know. I just feel like something about Marshmallow Fireside, I feel... I honestly could burn it all year round, probably. But I like... I like that it only comes out, like, for half the year, because it just makes me, like, love it and miss it so much more, you know what I mean? But... <laughs> Let's see what I got here. This is a cute, I love the packaging on this. Look how cute that is. Goes all the way around. And this is heirloom apple, it says on the top. I don't know if you can see that, I hope. But um, this says red Cortland apple, creamy sandalwood, and marshmallow. And honestly, like, I smell the marshmallow in the woods like very little. Like this is an apple scent. This smells like fall. Like apple picking, apple crisp, making up like it's just like fall in a jar right here. Especially the packaging and it's so like the texture of this is so, I don't even know, it's so cool feeling. It's like matte. If that makes sense but I love this one too I don't know if they had this one last year but hopefully they keep it around because I really I like apple scents a lot as well what one is this oh my gosh I think this one is new this year as well I am obsessed with this like as soon as me and my fiance smell this he is obsessed as well it is called pumpkin french toast oh my god and can I just say how cute the packaging is, too, with the squirrel wearing his little scarf? <laughs> but, yes, my fiancé was very, very good about coming. He carried all these heavy bags out to the car for me. He was a real trooper. He rushed me a little bit towards the end. But, who can blame him? I, I did kind of go overboard here, but, oh my goodness. Once again, another candle that is just so true to its name. It just smells so maple-y and let's see what it says. Warm maple syrup. That's like the very first note because that is what you smell as soon as you open the lid. Pumpkin spice and caramelized brown sugar. You can definitely smell all three of those. It just smells like you're like cooking French toast. I can't wait to burn it because I seriously feel like when people walk into my house that that's what it's going to smell like. It just smells French toasty. Like, I can't even. It's funny. But. Um, let's see. Here's another one that I believe is very true to its name. Pumpkin Cupcake. Another adorable package. It's got a little owl in the corner. See him? There he is. I don't know if they had that. I feel like they had pumpkin cupcake last year, but I can't. Remember. I didn't buy it last year. I bought um one that I didn't see was vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. I didn't see that one there, so maybe this got replaced because it's kind of similar. It's very like sweetie vanilla e whipped buttercream pumpkin spice and vanilla cupcake that's what it that is what it smells like um 
Another one I didn't get, I kind of replaced with um, pumpkin French toast, was pumpkin pecan waffles. I love that one, but I just, I wanted to try new ones this year. And since I had already gone overboard and bought a lot of reoccurring ones from last year, I wanted to get some that I hadn't tried before. So this does kind of smell very similar to pumpkin marshmallow, I think it was called, but I really like this one as well. Um, this one. This, I could not decide. It's called Cider Lane. Another very cute package. Um, I could not decide on this if I wanted leaves or Cider Lane. Um, leaves, to be honest, is not one of my favorites. I know... I hope I don't get a lot of hate by saying that because I know it is like the fall staple for most BBW girls, but I just, I don't know what it is. It's too cinnamony for me or something. It's got something that I just like don't like the smell of when it's burning. I don't know what, it kind of almost smells like burning leaves in a way. Like, I don't know. It just, I have bought it every year since since I've been obsessed with candles in the fall. I have literally bought it every year just because I feel like, oh, it's a fall staple. Like you can't, you can't have a fall candle collection without having leaves, kind of like Marshmallow Fireside. But when they came out with Cider Lane this year, I think this is new this year. I tossed it up because I was like, I, like, you need leaves in your collection, but my fiance was a main, and he was like, I would just go with one or the other, because they are very similar, but this one is just, it's not, like, overwhelmingly cinnamony, like, warm caramel, granny smith apple, brown, dark brown sugar, and ground clove, and I would say that this is very true to its notes as well. Um, I can't think of what the notes and leaves said, but whatever, there's just one ingredient in it that I don't care for. And so I went with this, and I'm, like, a little bit sad because, like I said, it's leaves. But then again, it's like, you don't like it, so why, why buy it if you don't really like it? So I went with Cider Lane, and I'm very happy. And I suggest, if you're in the same boat as me, which... I'm sure it isn't many, but if you happen to be in the same boat as me with the whole leaves thing, I really would suggest trying Cider Lane. Um, this one, <laughs> this is a funny story with this one too. This one is called Pumpkin Banana Muffin. Oh, my nose is just for smelling all these candles. Um... They were actually, I don't know about every location, but they were actually sold out of this in my location. And they, the girl said they're basically not getting it back. And I was really bummed because, honestly, this was a second trip. I went to get this because I wanted to return one of my candles that I'll be showing you in a minute. Um, because I had already had that scent, but it was in Halloween packaging. And when I smelled it, I was like... Oh, you know, that really screams Halloween to me. Like, I can see why. And then I got home and I realized it's sweet cinnamon pumpkin, which I had had from last year that I hadn't burned yet. So I was like, oh, I'm going to return that. I don't need two of them, whatever. It's not really, like, my favorite scent. Um, But I just, like, fell in love with the packaging, so I decided to keep it. And so when we got to Bath and Body Works, Billy was like, where's your candle that you're returning? And I'm like, huh. I'm actually not going to return it. I just, he was like, so why are we here? And I said that I really wanted to come in and get this candle. And so we get there and this was the sample. And I asked like where the other ones were, if there was, you know, going to be restocking. And she said, no, probably not. We actually didn't get many of them. She didn't know why really. She just was like, I kind of just said, well, if you have the sample, like, a lot of people are going to be smelling it and wanting it because it is a really, like, I loved this. So hopefully you guys can get your hands on this and it's not sold out in your location. But she ended up giving me the sample. And 
it smells once again very true to what it's called yeah like even the bottom of this is kind of like worn out and i don't know if this was like last year's or what but i didn't really see the point in like putting out a candle for people to sample and smell if you don't really carry it anymore you know what i mean so but it says caramelized banana pumpkin puree walnut and cinnamon sugar and i would definitely i'm surprised it says pumpkin puree because like i get pumpkin puree if you're making pumpkin banana muffins that's what you're going to use but pumpkin puree to be honest does not smell that good <laughs> it doesn't smell like pumpkin really you know um so that's a little shocking that it said the puree but other than that everything else you can definitely smell in there i would say but yeah um this one like i wanted to get because i kind i like i do when i don't like the scent um it's called the marshmallow pumpkin latte it's a cute package as well um i don't remember them making this in a candle last year they must have but um i got the body wash last year and like I couldn't wait to use it up because it really like it was it wasn't my favorite scent to be honest. Um, when you open it, I, for someone who works in a coffee shop, you know how it's it's bleh, you know how strong espresso smells. So when you think of a latte. I was expecting a much more strong, potent coffee flavor, and this does not smell like coffee at all. It smells like, I don't even know, like a fresh, I, honestly really the only thing I can really smell is marshmallow. It smells like marshmallows and like fresh cotton. I can't even like, it does not smell true to its name whatsoever. And it says pumpkin latte is the very first note. Girl, I make pumpkin lattes all day long. I know what they smell like. This right here does not smell like a pumpkin latte. And even if you don't work in a coffee shop, if you drink pumpkin lattes, this does not smell like a pumpkin latte. Um, toasted marshmallow, which I can see. Uh, creamy sandalwood, which I guess it does have a little bit of a sandalwood, but it's very light. Um, white ginger and praline musk. I don't know what ginger really smells like, other than like gingerbread, but it doesn't really smell like that. But um, praline musk, it it does have a musky, like very light. Once again. This is like a very light candle, and I'm really interested to see what it, um, what it smells like burning, because it's a very, very light scent in the jar, so hopefully, sorry, I'm going to make sure she didn't pull it. Hopefully, it's really a much better scent when it's burning, but, um... My last big one, I have like a couple random items that I got from Bath and & Body and a couple Walmart candles that I really like that I want to talk about and one other thing from, I believe Dollar General. My mom got it for me and it's just really cute so I want to show it. But um, this is the last big candle I have and this is the Halloween one I was talking about. Look how adorable that is. Like tell me that that just isn't super cute, right? And it's sparkly and just... And when I opened it, I never read the bottom because I was just like, oh, Halloween. It smells so much like how, like, you think of Halloween when you open this. I think that's why they wanted the scent to be in the Halloween candle because it really does. And look how cute that is, too. But, um, yeah, when I got home, I was like, sweet cinnamon pumpkin, haunted pumpkin, creepy clove, vampire's vanilla, and scary brown sugar. Is that just the cutest or what? Like, I had to have this. And I don't know if you guys have been yet, but, like, they have so many cute Halloween candle holders, 
um, Halloween sanitizer keychains. They have a lot of cute Halloween stuff in there. And I think they actually had one other Halloween candle too, which is probably one of the other um, scents that they already have, but I didn't like the packaging as much as that one, so I don't know what the other scent was, but yeah. Anyway, um, what was it? I lost my train of thought. Oh, okay, so then I got a mason jar candle, which is the same. Uh, I got the big candle as well. It's the black cherry uh, Merlot, Merlot. But this is, I think, going to be for my mom's birthday. Her birthday is next week. So I got that. She's, like, obsessed with blackberries and black cherries and kind of that kind of scent. So I got that for her. And I got her vanilla cupcake lotion. And then when I went back on my second spree, I got the body wash for myself. Because I didn't, I realized, I was like, I got home and didn't get any body washes or any soaps. I have a bunch of soaps from last year, so I'm sad on that. But I needed myself a new body wash, so I got that. And the other thing I think I'm going to give her for her birthday, which I just realized, is vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. So they must have the big ones somewhere, and I just didn't see them, but... I'm still happy with the pumpkin cupcake one. It smells very, very similar. It's just honestly creamy vanilla, pumpkin spice, homemade marshmallow, and drizzled caramel. This one just has like a more sweet, even sweeter than pumpkin cupcake to me. It's very, very sweet. But, um, all right. And that, oh, I lied. This is the last few items in my Bath and Body Works, but um, I had a whole bunch of coupons, too. I know you're probably like, girl, how much did, that looks like $1,000 worth of candles. I went when it was, um, every candle was $12.50, and then I had an email coupon that um, I got any item for $10, so I think this, I think I got my mom's lotion, and then I also got these two things um with one of my coupons as well and then i had a coupon that I, my whole purchase was 20 percent off i had a bunch of coupons to use so this was one of the free items that i had also picked up i don't have any candle holders because i just don't see the point in them to be honest i love the packaging on all the candles so i don't really want to hide them but i love foxes and owls for fall so I picked that up. I don't know if I'll give that to my mom or keep it, but yeah. And then the last thing I just got from Bath and Body um, was a bunch of air fresheners for my car, which I really need to get a fall holder because the one I have is a pink cupcake, which is cute, but it'd be nice to have a fall one. So, um, and I might give a few of these to my mom as well for her birthday. I don't know yet because I bought her a holder for Mother's Day. And so the scents that I gave her were all like springy and summery. So we'll see. But I have pumpkin apple, sweet cinnamon pumpkin, cinnamon caramel swirl, leaves. I might give my mom the leaves. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, marshmallow pumpkin latte, flannel, pumpkin cupcake, and another flannel because I think I got Bill um, a holder as well and he wanted the flannel one because he's obsessed with that one so I think that's why I got two of them. And then the last few items, like I said, I got two candles from Walmart. So the first one I got is called pumpkin or pecan pumpkin cake, which looks like that. And um, these candles are fuck. Excuse me, these candles are super cheap. They were like three fifty a piece, mind you. Where is it? This little guy at Bath and Body Works is four fifty. So I got. That scared me. Someone's yelling at their dog. I think. I got this three wick candle for three fifty at Walmart, and the only thing I don't like about them is that they don't have lids, so I feel like their scent like dries up quicker. But other than that, 
like super, super potent. And it smells just like uh, pumpkin pecan waffles to me. This is pecan pumpkin cake, so it's very similar. And then, and a lot cheaper. <laughs> This one is called Mold Cider. Mold, not mold. And I picked that up. I really like the scent of that as well. And then, I just realized this is a, a 27 minute video, so I better wrap things up, because it'll never upload, and you guys will never finish the end of it, so. Uh, can I get it? My mom got me this little guy because she knows how much I love owls. And it's a wax mount. So she got me a bunch of tea light candles. And then she picked up creamy pumpkin pie. So, yeah. Um, that is everything in this haul. I know it is super long. I really hope you guys make it to the end because... I did jibber jabber a lot. I'll try to edit a lot of that out, but I'm not that good at it. So yeah, you might have to fast forward my rambles about some of these candles, but there is a lot of good ones in here. So hopefully you watch the whole video and hopefully you go get you some of those scents because they all smell very foul. Um, yeah, I hope to start making more videos soon, and that's basically all I gotta say. Please like, subscribe, thumbs up, comment, whatever you gotta do, follow my social media. I would really love people's feedback on what I can do to make myself a better YouTuber. And until next time, I'll see you later.